simply amazing. Don't you think so? Okay, everybody. Hello and welcome. My name is David. As you can see, we got the three cameras set up here. It's like surround sound, but visually. Like I can see myself all over, all over. So sorry this has been delayed. It's been several attempts and shit's been getting in the way like with the VA today I had I'm still in fact they might even call again like I swear to god it's complete incompetence I was told listen to this I was told I needed to get a PTXD exam for this for my appeal that's going on that's in that's been remanded right and so they're like I call up mental health and they're like I'm like hey I need a PTSD exam they're like what a PTSD exam and she's like, yeah, we're mental health. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm calling you. Like, and then they just like threw me around, like sent me, I was on hold for about an hour before I started recording this right now. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, whatever. I'm like, I'm doing this because the VBA, the Veterans Board of Affairs or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be called, excuse me, uh, they're the ones that want it. So why, why is this such a hard thing to do? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. So anyhow, hey, we got the whole setup now together. That's my little, I'm using my little Sony over here. It's new. We'll get into that. Uh, but yeah, so you heard me playing there. That was me. That was me. That was all me. All me. So, well, the drums were... Thing. There was some stuff layered underneath that I don't really... I buried because it wasn't that good. But that guitar solo, that was me. That was all me. So anyhow, yeah, I was uh, trying out... Let's see it right here. Um, that was on my... Hold on. Ah. So that was on my uh, Ruby. Ruby. Can you see it? So, uh, yeah, I got the Ruby here. I have a Ruby. Um, as fate would have it, I got... Amazon made a mistake in my favor. And I had the money suddenly to get one of these. Exactly the right amount of money to get one. So I got it. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. I still haven't... You notice all the dials are down because I haven't um, been using, using the presets. If you look, wait, I can't, I gotta have it hooked up. I've been using the presets, is, um, the way it works is like it's an amplifier. It's based off of uh, the Vox uh, AC, AC30 or 15. And um, Brian Mays, to be exact, like they, they, they actually, Universal Audio uh, uh, did a lot of research in the Brian Mays amps and his. It's got a treble, uh, Range Master treble booster in it. Uh, it's got a vibrato, um, all of these other great things. And then it comes with three, three speakers, uh, it's three speaker cabinets. And then when you register using the app that's not working, um, you get you get another three speakers or something like that. Anyhow, it sounds great though. I mean. It, it, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to be doing. I, I had a Strymon before, and it just, it felt like it wasn't putting any, any, you know, it wasn't, you know, just, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't even notice it sometimes. I'd, I'd be playing and realizing it wasn't even turned on. So, like, what, what good is that if it's not even turned on? I need to, like, sorry, I got a new monitor. Yeah, I got a new monitor here, so now I got to, I'm looking up there. Anyhow, so let's talk about what happened this past week. Um, first off, I uh, I finished uh, my motion comic I've been working on. Um, it's uh, based off of Alpha Flight Nightmare. It's the tail end of issue 12 and the beginning of issue 13 of Alpha Flight Volume 1. Uh, written and illustrated by the great John Byrne. My, my hero. One of my heroes. All time. All time. And, um, and yeah, so I put it, I, I, I was listening to the soul soundtrack last year and, um, it just, 
kind of fit. Uh, it was Epiphany with by Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross, and John Baptiste of Stephen Colbert fame. And and if you don't have John Baptiste's uh, uh, his Grammy award winning album, um, which I can't remember the name right now, but it's really good. Um, I highly suggest getting it. But anyhow, so the music just seemed to fit a mood um, with it, and so I basically finished it. I'll put a link down below. I have it unlisted because I can't monetize it. So, um, because of the music. So, um, feel free to go check it out. Uh, the link down below. Like I said, it's what it took me. It's a it's a little passion project. Kind of got. It's a. It just is my buddy. It's just kind of helped me get some things out as far as losing friends and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, then I got the ruby. Got the ruby on Wednesday of last week, and then um, Thursday I went and saw the Jesus and Mary Chain. Yeah. See, Jim. It's Jim. And there's 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 William. There's William. There's Jim. There's William and there's Jim. So I went and saw Jesus and Mary Chain. Um, it was down in Austin at Stubbs. I tried getting I tried getting passes before, and the promoters weren't gonna let me bring my cameras in. So I had to do what I had to do, and I I bought a bought a mini. Uh, Panasonic camera, a little point and shoot Panasonic. That's how we ended up getting, well, got a, yeah, so I ended up buying a, I, I had to get a, a, a small camera that could fit in my pocket and not have detachable lenses. Detachable lenses. And, um, so I got this Panasonic, had a Leica lens on it, um, went down there. There was four bands total. Uh, the first two bands, the first band, the Paranoids, they were really good. They're, three females uh guitar drums and keyboards and vocals and then they have a they have a male a man drummer they have a male drummer and they're really really good and um i got their album talk 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 it took me a while to figure out who they were they didn't have any merch or anything so um uh yeah so i downloaded their album talk 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 that's the music that you're hearing right now is off of it and um and here's some of the photos I shot. They're like really good. They're really good. They're out of LA. Um, yeah, this is. It was just. It was really amazing. I kind of got emotional because this was the first time I like really heard. This is the first time I heard live music since. Um, really since lockdown. No, well there was. I don't count that. But yeah, there. Yeah, this was the first time I actually really heard live music that I enjoyed. Let's put it that way. Um, so, anyhow, uh, yeah, it was incredible. It was, yeah, they're really, really good. They were a lot of fun. And then uh, the second band, Automatic, there are three females, synth, bass, and drums. And they have like this really badass, um, I don't know, the best, I, the best way I can put it, like Joy Division meets, uh, meets Devo. So it's kind of like early New Order, I guess, maybe. Uh, but fronted by females, you know, right? Like, I, it was really, uh, uh, they, they got some really good beats and stuff. They made, like, Nachito, I played him for Nachito. Nachito. And um, he, uh, like, he said they, they make some pretty good sounds. So, anyhow, so I, I shot these photos with, uh, with a little Panasonic. I got a few good ones. Then um, the third band, I didn't really shoot anything worth noting, and I really, I really, they were all right. I mean, they're, I'm, they're, I'm not gonna say they were bad, but they just weren't my thing. It's kinda, they reminded me too much of somebody else, somebody else that I can't name, that I don't care about. So I guess that's that's the best review I can give them. That they're all right. They're just, and they seemed like they had like 18 billion albums. Right, but but I I mean but automatic they got two albums I downloaded I downloaded both of them as soon as I could um, excess and signal and I was just I, that's all I've been listening to in the car or driving around town you know, you know just 
driving around, pretending I'm, pretending I'm like the man, you know, because I might be the man, I might be a man, I could be a man. So anyhow, um, yeah, but those those links for them, they're down below too. Then uh, for automatic, not for pro martyrs, the uh, or proto martyr, whatever the hell. Even the name, I think, is kind of. Proto Martyr, so that means you're like the, the first, you're like the demo version of the Martyr, or I don't know, I don't understand. Does this even affect me as a human being or as somebody out there that should be affected? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So okay, so here we go. So next, the main event, Jesus and Mary Chain. My favorite band ever. Ever. Yes, my favorite band. And it's kind of like, I had the ex-wife one time, she said they can't be my favorite band because Nine Inch Nails is my favorite band. And I'm like, there's a weird thing about them. It's like they kind of inhabit the same area. I think I bought, I think I bought Automatic the same time I bought Pretty Hate Machine. I'm almost positive. So, because I was kind of on, I was kind of was like, that's what was going on but it wasn't until I got uh, barbed wire kisses and I heard um, everything's all right when you're down uh, that I don't know I just remember that album just really changed me I mean this is all at the same time too like yeah like pretty hate machine James addiction uh, Richard Dale Habitual, and, and in 1999, I discovered 1999, like, right around the same time, it was like, there was this, um, almost like this primordial music, uh, stew that was forming, like, this weird gumbo of, like, these were going to be the albums that, that were the foundation of, of the rest of my life, basically. So, uh, yeah, so, we're talking, we're talking like some yeah so anyhow so where was i so yeah so jesus and mary chain came out uh i got right up right up center center jim 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 was right there it was about I, I was about three people back i couldn't get any closer they wouldn't let me it was too loud and then william was like he was way off in the distance like way in the back fog the smoke machine like and everything so it was really hard to like for the camera to get it and i was wrangling that camera man i was like i was moving doing it like i it was just i didn't know what it was doing it seemed like every time i touched the touch screen it would just take on a, this mind of its own type thing so kind of got the settings right and then i just went for it you know like what are you gonna do like what are you like is, can you do anything i don't think so but i did enough that that like you know, I got, this is what I got. This is what I got. And the, the cool part is they didn't do, I don't think they did any songs off of Psycho Candy other than Just Like Honey. And the thing is, is like, okay, so about halfway through the show, there was like this weird feedback coming, noise coming out of the, out of the PA. And yeah, William had these, had the stack of orange amps. And it's just like two stacks. It was just, ooh. Just makes me want to. I'm gonna probably go orange when I actually buy my real amp. Oh, I do have an orange. I got a little orange crush, 35T. But uh, there's this noise coming, and Jim's like, starts apologizing to the crowd, and you know, I'm like, I thought this was part of the show, and it turns out no, it wasn't. And like, so they couldn't. So they couldn't. The guitar tech came out, and he couldn't get any. He couldn't get it figured out and stuff. So they started apologizing, and then. And earlier, I talked to Izzy from uh, Automatic by the merch booth, and I started talk, telling her about the Zoya and how cool the Zoya is, and uh, stuff. She never heard of it, so you know, I'm like, yeah, the Zoya is like that's what you gotta, you know, blah blah blah. And she, so she let slip, and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm supposed to go out there and sing the the, the female vocals on Just Like Honey. And I'm like, okay, cool. So anyhow, so they go back, they go back and start playing. And they were doing like, um, 
They didn't do Snake Driver. They did um, something I can't have. They did a lot of stuff off Darklands, which I was like was surprised about. They did a lot of stuff off of uh, Automatic. They did a couple songs off, off Honey's Dead. They did one song off of... Well, they did I Hate Rock and Roll. So that was, you can either say that's off Monkey or if it's off of... She's a very chain I Hate Rock and Roll. Um, and... That's about it. But anyhow, so the noise got so bad that like Jim was like, hey, we got, we're, this is going to be our last song. And everybody's like... You know, you know what they do, and then I knew that it couldn't be the last song because they hadn't done just like Honey yet. So sure enough, they go off. We all start screaming, and then they come back out, and then Izzy from lead singer from from Automatic comes out there, and that's how I got this photo. And then, uh, yeah, they did that, and then they then they're like, okay, this is gonna be it, and so they did Reverence. Which, of course, they had to do reverence because we're in Texas. So, you know, the lyrics are like, I want to die just like JFK. I want to die on a sunny day. I want to die. I want to die. Oh. So, anyhow, I'm going to have to start. I'm going to have to take old Stanley here. In case you didn't know, it's called Stanley because we got pictures of Stanley Kubrick on. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna have to learn some um, I'm gonna have to start learning some Jesus and Mary Chain songs on this thing. I've already started pulling up Pat, but it's like I can't find I can't find the songs I want. Uh, so yeah, so it was great. But then when I got back and I was like all worried the photos were gonna suck, and I got I got what I needed. So um, yeah, and I was all set to like I was all set to to keep the camera and everything, and then turned out that uh yeah you can't put a you can't put a you can't put a screen to watch what's going on live so i had to return it and that's how i got this cute little sony it's cute the sony the zeiss lenses best optics in the world but then again the other one had leica so those are also the best optics in the world but i like it i like it so this is how it's gonna go so um yeah, that's basically, that's what's going on this week on I Know My First Name is David. Hello. Uh, so it was a good time. It was good. It was good seeing Jesus and Mary Chain. So I got to, like, I got to learn. I got to learn more Jesus and Mary Chain songs. So, hey, y'all. Check out the stuff down below. Paranoids, Automatic. You can find Jesus and Mary Chain wherever music is sold. Um, and then check out my motion, my motion thing. And I'll leave a link for that whole, that entire uh, guitar solo I did. So, thanks everybody. Talk to you later.